Hello friends, my name is Pranay Pandey and in this OIBIS video tutorial uh, we will be doing an overview of entities in Apache OIBIS. So entities in OIBIS are usually defined here in any of the component structure if you look at like for example let's go to applications directory here and in order or any of the other component if you go to the entity def directory you'll find the entity model XML file mentioned here that will actually be having the entity definitions what is the advantage of having entity definitions like this in XML format here in OIBIS it actually gives you the feature where you can say OIBIS is having database independent data model that is defined using the entity XMLs that means either of the database that you use for configuring OIBIS with like for example you configure it with MySQL or Postgres the definitions are going to be same and when you'll be loading this data model into the database it's going to be loaded as required or as needed uh, here when you define a table like this uh, in, in basically it's an entity from the OIBIS perspective and is a table from the database perspective so when you'll be connecting with the database and will you you will be loading the data model into the database basically the database schema that you will be loading into the database it's going to be loaded as required by the DB that you have chosen so you define it here like you can see that you define the entity that's a table basically the name of the entity uh, the table uh, table name that you want to have and then package and uh, other settings are there like you want to cache uh, the data or not or the, and then definitely the title for the entity and then you define certain fields the important thing here that you should note is like this type thing you are uh, mentioning that sales order ID as ID any SO item sequence ID as ID any so what does it uh, mean actually and how uh, OIBIS actually interprets uh, all these particular uh, types that you are defining here and as I said OIBIS give you, gives you the feature of database independent entities. So uh, for defining DB specific types you have got the files like field type MySQL for example. So you'll see field type MySQL XML file. You'll you can open it and you'll find that okay each of the field type that you'd give in the entity definition is actually associated or uh, mapped up with a specific SQL type in this actual database and there is the Java type mentioned also so you can map up the field types here in any of the field type star.xml file that means it's field type MySQL or if you want to see Postgres you can say field type post and it will give you the field type Postgres XML file where you can find the mapped up field types with the actual SQL type uh, for that particular database it has been defined that way I just want to show you how can you define your own custom entities if required uh, in most of the cases the generic data model that is offered by OIBIS which is defined under each of the component the application components under the entity dev directory it is going to help you out but there are some cases where you may need to define your own table so for doing that you will be defining those tables or entities in your own component in my case it's my plugin named my OIBIS demo which is there in special purpose directory I'm using release OIBIS release 16.11 so I'm opening my OIBIS demo and here under the entity dev directory what I have done is I have defined two tables by the name OIBIS demo type and OIBIS demo here's the package name I have given the title to the entity or the table and then here is the uh, here are the fields in OIBIS demo type table entity I have uh, given OIBIS demo type ID and the description to that and the primary key of this entity in the similar fashion I have defined one mode entity uh, with the fields OIBIS demo ID OIBIS demo type ID which is a uh, foreign key relation uh, to OIBIS demo type entity that is defined here the relation the foreign key and then uh, I have uh, some more fields like party ID which is again a relationship with the party table that's where you actually utilize the existing data model available with OIBIS so I have utilized a party data model which will actually be giving me the presenter party of this particular demo so I had defined uh, these two tables here 
So once I define these tables, the, the important thing I should be making sure for loading these tables in our database when OIBIS will be starting up, I have to go to my OIBIS component XML file here, my components OIBIS component XML file. And here you have to make sure that the entity resource entry is there because it's the resource for the component and you will need to make an entry here. So entity resource type model, reader main, loader main and then uh, my XML file location. Uh, it can be any name in my case or in OIBIS the best practice is that, that whenever you define a, uh, a file where you are going to put in some entity definition or entity XMLs in that case you should be defining it uh, with the name entity model you can suffix it with any of the keyword that you want so in my case is it, it's entity model XML file I have made this entry so when I'll be restarting OIBIS here these tables are going to be loaded in uh, database so once the OIBIS uh, starts up how can you make sure that the tables have been loaded there are a couple of ways either you can uh, go and you can connect to your database and then uh, you can search through your tables here as of now you can see that you have 875 tables in total in OIBIS uh, definitely there are two more uh, tables that I have defined or two more entities that I had defined so which have been added up here in my SQL database if I say select star from or abyss underscore demo underscore type sorry I'll have to select my database that is abyss now I can run my query select star from abyss demo underscore type and here it is so you can see that uh, my table has been defined as of now there is a couple of data rows as well so this table has been loaded the other way to see like my table has been loaded into the database or not you can go to web tools main and here you can go to entity data maintenance or you can open up entity reference interactive version or entity reference static version entity reference PDF as well but the most important tool that is used by developers is uh, entity data maintenance you can open it up and you can search the tables of the entities that you have defined to make sure that these tables have been created in the database so my table names are OIBIS demo OIBIS demo and OIBIS demo type both of the tables have been created into the database you can open these and you can see that the table schema is defined there as I mentioned there are these four uh, fields which are by default added to the table by OIBIS so primarily I have added these two fields so these are there and then definitely you can perform certain find operations if you want on that particular table right away from entity data maintenance like this and here is my OIBIS demo table that has been loaded into the database with the primary key OIBIS demo ID. So yeah, this is how you can define your tables, uh, custom tables and uh, you can load them into the database and you can review them. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll be taking a look at like how can you create uh, the XML data for the tables that you have created or any of the custom XML data that you want to create. So until then, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, thanks for watching.